With the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, a lot of us have a new favorite DC movie to talk about, and my list has changed a lot ever since that top 10 DC movies I did a while ago. So today I'm going to go over my new top 5 favorite DC movies, but also we're going to be doing it with Action Pack Studio 79. Introduce yourself. What is going on, guys? My name is Action Pack Studio 79, and I run the channel J. No, that's not right. What's going on, guys? Jaden here, and I run the channel Action Pack Studio 79. Micah, thank you so much for inviting me to talk about my top five favorite DC movies with you. If you guys have never seen me before, I run the channel Action Pack Studio 79, where I make movie reviews, uh, superhero versus videos, fan films, skit. I, 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 I sometimes do skits. I'm sure there'll be a link. Michael will put a link in the description below. I really hope you guys will check his channel out. Link in the description. He's a great channel. Please go subscribe to him. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna can it. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Now starting off the list for me is going to be Shazam. So coming in at number 5 for me is Shazam. This was definitely the first DCEU film that I loved. Now Shazam is one of DC's more lesser known smaller heroes, but he's not on the same level as as Polka Dot Man or Calendar Man. He's still an iconic hero, but at the same time he's not a, a, a super super iconic hero. So that makes for this being a really brave pick. I mean, this was the time where we had gotten Wonder Woman, Aquaman, uh, Suicide Squad, Batman vs Superman, and then all of a sudden we get Shazam, and we're like, is this gonna bomb? Or is this gonna be really good? Before I watched it, I felt like every DC movie just wasted character. They never had good development. The characters weren't even, they didn't, really have a reason to root for the heroes until this i mean just seeing like what these kids would do if they had superpowers it's just such a great concept and the way they use it it's great execution it's very funny it's maybe the funniest dc movie out there it definitely brings more heart to the dceu where you got little kids like this who just see these characters as idols and i think that that's something really good that they needed to bring into the dceu to flesh it out more now i'm not saying that the other films don't have heart because they really do like the new justice league movie and wonder woman definitely have the most heart out of all of them but it's good to always have a bit more to the point where everything isn't always so dark and gloomy there are definitely issues that you can point out, but for me, they don't really bother me. I think this was kind of the film where they wanted to be Marvel, and like, this does feel sort of like a Marvel movie. It's really funny, but the characters are great. It's very much like a Marvel movie, and that's what I think was so brave for the DCEU to put this out and make it part of the DCEU instead of it being in like its own smaller universe. I think this movie is hilarious. Zachary Levi does a perfect job at pulling off this character. I cannot see anybody else playing Shazam. He does such a good job at portraying this sort of man-child and I think that's great and that's also an opportunity to make a lot of incredible jokes and and they all land. That's the big difference with this one. You want to root for these characters unlike every other film from before that. So Shazam is my number five. All right next place is gonna be Batman vs Superman Ultimate Edition. This is a masterpiece. I love everything from, from, from the comic book references to, to the whole Batman vs Superman, the whole fight scene just being basically ripped out of the Dark Knight Returns, the whole um, Batman on the on the building when the lightning strikes, the, the Dark Knight Returns freaking cover. I'm talking way too much. I have a, a sore in my lip. This hurts so freaking bad. But overall, this is DC. This is the first film that I think of when I think about DC. I, I really used to not like Ben Affleck as Batman, and I, I still can say that I love him. I just always, he's a perfect Bruce Wayne. I love him as the Bruce Wayne. He really pulls off the Frank Miller look of Bruce Wayne, and the costume is beautiful. <laughs> But his mouth, I hate his mouth in the costume. In some scenes like this, it, it looks a bit silly. The Ultimate Edition is so much better than the theatrical cut. It really fleshes out what was actually going on because I, I've seen Batman vs Superman so many times. And I watched the Ultimate Cut for the first time, I think, last week. 
and I finally understand what what the freaking story was about. But in this one, they actually flesh out what happened, and they flesh out that that lady actually lied about Superman killing the people, and all of that stuff is just cut out of the theatrical cut, and it's dumb because this is so so much better, and I think it is almost a perfect DC film. And then coming in at number four is another film in the DCEU franchise, which is Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Other than the title, this is a fantastic movie. It was so surprising. I cannot believe that a bunch of people hate this movie. I was not expecting this movie to be so good. All five of the lead characters that team up in the final battle become interesting somehow. They're all great characters. Eventually, such a unique style. I love the style of this film with the non-chronological story. And it all comes together later. It's such an amazing way to do this film. And I've never seen a comic book movie like this. For the people that hate this movie, you, you gotta admit it's fun. This is such a fun movie. All the performances are so insane and like basically... Everything about this movie is chaotic and crazy. The structure of it, the writing, the characters, all of it. All of it is such a blast and I love this movie. Next up, third place is going to be Batman Returns. This actually used to be my favorite DC film for a while. I just love this film. I actually prefer Batman Returns over Batman. I, I don't know, I feel like Batman dragged a little bit. Maybe it's because I watched it for the first time at like four in the morning, but I'm, I mean, I don't know. But this one is a fun, just all out crazy 1980s DC, 1990s DC, my bad. It, it's, it's goofy, it's over the top, and it is so good. Michael Keaton is definitely my favorite Batman now because of Batman Returns. And I think um, them fixing his costume, making the emblem more classic, like the classic design was a great choice. And Penguin. Oh my goodness, Penguin, I mean, yeah, he, Penguin does, Penguin is um, built like my, my like my elementary gym teacher, but Danny DeVito pulls off Penguin incredibly. But Danny DeVito is such an iconic actor, and this is uh, probably my favorite performance from him. The way they develop his character as being someone who was thrown away as a child, but still loved people and wanted to do something good, was I, I thought was a great thing for him even though he, he, he didn't love some people Especially this guy, but I mean he's a great character I love his character arc and his death is kind of sad actually Catwoman Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman is incredible. I really like her Catwoman It's really unique out of all the other Catwomans that I've seen at my number three I have Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut. I have actually only seen the Donner cut because I own the Donner cut this is a great movie. I don't know if the original Superman 2 is as good as this, but wow. Out of all the original Superman films, this is easily my favorite. It's not, it doesn't drag like the first Superman and it's not stupid like Superman 4. It's the perfect balance. It's kind of cheesy, but I absolutely adore it. Christopher Reeve as Superman is probably the best Superman. Well, Henry Cavill and him are both great, but this is easily the Superman movie where he gets the best character arc when he loses his powers. And then the villain, the villain Zod is a lot better than I thought he would be. And the action, the action honestly still holds up. This whole movie still holds up very well. Coming in second place is going to be Justice League Flashpoint Paradox. I love these DC anime films. They are... Oh. They're so good. It's like, it's like that they don't even, it's like they don't even write a script for the movie. It's almost like they just pick up the comic and just go right from there. The way that they're able to pull off these films and have emotional weight and tension on them with none of them being two hours long is incredible. Flashpoint Paradox has a Justice League story, a Flash story, a time travel story, a Batman story, and it's like an hour and 49 minutes, I'm pretty sure. It's perfect. It is my favorite cartoon it's it's my favorite dc film from this cartoon era the anime era and it's just it's incredible and i really cannot wait to see how they pull it off with ezra miller because this was just so mind-blowing and the climax at the end of the film is dc 
perfection. I mean, you got freaking Wonder Woman killing children. You got Aquaman getting his, his whole freaking arm cut off. You got Cyborg getting his heart ripped out of his chest. <laughs> when will you ever see Marvel doing crap like this? It's, it's so good. And I love the whole scene at the end with Barry traveling back in time, having to go to stop his past self from saving his mother. And the emotional weight on that is a pretty good weight. It's really good. This is a close to perfect DC film. Coming in at number two is Joker. I think this is the best origin. I do love Captain America the First Avenger, and that's a fantastic origin. But Joker, as an origin for a villain, this is an incredible film. It is very disturbing as you go later into the film and you see Arthur become the Joker. Before this, we had never seen who Joker was. Before this, we'd never seen who the Joker was as a human before he turned into the Joker, and it's it's really creepy to see the transition into that. I don't really get the controversy about this movie. I think it's fantastic, and Joaquin Phoenix is the best Joker for me. His performance is one of the best ever, honestly, because when he's trying to cry, but he's laughing instead because of his condition, you just feel so uncomfortable sitting there. Might be the best DC movie, but it's not quite my favorite. You might know what it is. But the most perfect DC film that I have seen is easily Justice League 2017. I know a lot of people hate on this film and I don't, I never really understood the hate around it. I think the jokes land. I think all the performances are great. Henry Cavill's mustache isn't really that noticeable in most scenes, and Steppenwolf is a great villain. Did you, did you think I was serious? Easily coming in in number one is Zack Snyder's Justice League. What do I even have to say? Homeboy literally made a four hour long movie, and I was out there begging for more. Like, I, I want a six hour Zack Snyder Justice League movie. Justice League 2017 is my least favorite film of all time. So who knew that a four hour version of it would be my favorite DC movie? Such a fantastic superhero team up film and DC has finally done it. This is what I've always wanted DC to do. After Marvel pulled off every Avengers movie, finally. Finally, DC has this great little universe of Zack Snyder films that connects to Wonder Woman. This is a perfect DC film, and if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Cyborg and Flash are my favorite characters in this film. The, uh, the whole ending scene with Flash was just definitely what, one, of the, one of the best comic book sequences I have ever seen. And the fact that Joss Whedon wanted to have him push a Russian family in a truck other beside I can't I can't even form a sentence because I'm so stupidified yeah that's a word now I'm using that word stupidified I still don't absolutely love this franchise but boy Zack Snyder's Justice League makes me like it a lot more because it pulls everything together it really does even though I don't really like a ton of the movies in this franchise, this movie pulled it all together in a way that I absolutely love. And it made me love every single member of the Justice League so much more than I did before, especially Cyborg. They were improved a lot. And even better, this movie made me want more Zack Snyder DC movies. It's that good. This film is perfection. And if you're kind of skeptical about it because you just never want to watch another DC film after this monstrosity, I don't blame you. I really was kind of scared about it because I rewatched Justice League 2017 before watching this new one, and I was like, oh, how, how, how is that gonna fix this? And he delivered. He delivered. But anyway, yeah, Zack Snyder's Justice League is the best DC movie and now one of the best comic book films of all time. You should all check it out, even if you despised the original Justice League, because I did too, and now I adore this one, an achievement for DC. But yeah, guys, that is my top five list. Um, I'm, I'd love to hear you guys' down in the comments below what you guys think about about the Justice League film, about your favorite DC films. Thank you to Jaden for coming on my channel, and I might be appearing on his channel at some point. We don't really know what it'll be yet, but that might happen, so stay tuned. I really hope you guys will subscribe to him.
And yeah, thank you so much, Micah, for having me on your channel. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.